Hey guys, it's Vintage Vinny, and I have a thrift store haul to share with you today. Got a good assortment of things, as usual, and I'm looking forward to sharing it with you all. Stay tuned. So before I get started with this haul video, I want to let you all know that I decided to go out into Pennsylvania and try thrifting out there. I thought I did pretty darn well. Some of the shops were a little eh, like they were, they just looked really empty, but you know me, I'm still able to find stuff. Now there's going to be some things that I purchased that of course were not vintage, so they're not going to be in this haul video. And then there are also two items that I forgot to show in my last haul, so I'm going to show them in this one. And then there's also another piece that a viewer was interested in and I'll talk about that once I show you all the stuff. So let's jump right in. Okay, so these are the two items that I forgot about in my last haul video. This is from, I believe, 1977. It's a Gabriel Pythagoras puzzle. Brand new. I mean, in terms of it doesn't look like it's ever been used. As you can see, the box is a little bit rough with tears and everything. I have this up in my eBay shop for $10, so if you're interested, the link to my eBay shop is down below. So go ahead and check that out. Now this is for Miss Stone Home. The, both of these items came from the Gobo outlet, if I forgot to mention that. This is practically new. It's Breakfast at Tiffany's starring Audrey Hepburn, George Peppard, and Mickey Rooney. I know she had mentioned that she loved this movie, but I'm not exactly sure if she had it. And if she does have it, I might as well just either sell it or I can give it to her and she can give it to someone who doesn't have it. But that came from the Goodwill outlet that was less than a dollar. So let's go ahead and jump into that one item I was talking about that a viewer was interested in. Alright, so a viewer by the name of Raquel, if you are watching this video, I know you said you were interested in this really cute skull with the mice and the happy spider die cut. Now I know there was some confusion of as to how you would pay me for this, so what I think I'm going to end up doing for you is I'm going to go ahead and list this in my eBay shop so that way you can get a better look at it. I do want to let you know there's a little bit of a mark up there. Overall in very good condition despite that little spot. So what I'm going to do, like I said, is I'm going to list this in my eBay shop for the $7.99 that we agreed on. You'll pay a little bit of shipping and this item will be yours. I just think it's easier to go through that because eBay takes a lot of payments or different forms of payment. So I'll have this up for you hopefully by the time you see this video. So now that we got that cleared out of the way, in no particular order I'm going to show you all the stuff that I got while thrifting in Pennsylvania. So the first two items that I'm going to show you, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have already seen these. Not exactly short of the age, but these pictures were at a Goodwill that were that was kind of eh, like not a whole lot of stuff. But I thought they were really interesting. Faux bamboo wood, or frame. And I guess what these people did back in the day is they took a piece of glass... I guess used a stencil and sprayed around it to just get the outline of the bird and then they put colored foil in there. I thought that was really unique and interesting. I didn't see anything like them on eBay but I like them for myself. And let me go ahead and show you all what the back looks like. Okay so as you can see by the tags I paid $1.97 each or $3.94 for the pair. If I go ahead and take this so this is what the marking on it was. It says, Steingard Picture Co. in Barrie, Ontario, Canada. Very interesting, very unique, very cool. Like I said, never seen anything like it, and the right time to buy something is when you see it. If you all have happened to see these before, or if you have happened to have seen these before, and have sold them, let me know in the comments, because I think these are very different and very interesting. So the last larger item that I'm going to be sharing with you all in this haul video is this awesome how to eat lobster tray. I would say this is probably from the 50s or 60s. It has a So it has a stamp on the back of it for Nanco Sales Company in Massachusetts, made in Hong Kong. 
So if you all can tell, I paid $2.50 for this. It doesn't sell for a whole lot. The last one just sold for 7 bucks. However, I thought this was really cool, and being somebody who goes up to Maine every year, this was very, very fitting to my liking. And I just thought it was cool, because, you know, Maine is famous for their lobster, kind of like Maryland is for their crabs. So I thought that was a neat piece. That might just be something I hang up, or maybe I'll save for my own kitchen, or I don't know what I'll do with it, but I thought it was cool, and $2.50 was definitely a good price. Okay, so this is going to be all the smaller items, and without further ado, and in no particular order, let's jump right in. Not exactly sure if this is old or not. It's a paperweight in the shape of what I believe to be a mango. It was $2. There are no markings on it, so I'm not exactly sure if it's old or not. Um, if it is old, probably 70s, 80s. And if it's newer, it's probably from TJ Maxx, Marshalls, or Home Goods, a store like that. Never seen anything like it before. Uh, in terms of price, I would probably list it for $16.99. That's just my best guess. I'm sure anybody who likes this kind of thing or is just into mangoes will definitely appreciate this. For $0.25 cents from that same thrift store, I picked up one of these pencil sharpeners that's in the shape of a piece of furniture. These don't really go for a whole lot of money on eBay, but I just thought it was rather fun, and with the pendulum that moves back and forth when you swing it, I thought that was rather interesting, and I'm going to actually throw that into my jar of old stuff. As you can see, pencil sharpener. No markings, but I think it's cool anyway. What do you think? From a Goodwill, I picked up this 70s Taurus mug. It was 97 cents, but unfortunately I took the tag off because there was a lot of sticky residue. If you all can see that on the bottom, the marking or the styling of the Fire King logo indicates 70s. Just has a bull on it, says Taurus, the bull, sign of the bull. My birthday is April 30th, so that fits right in. It says, ruled by Venus, I'm, or you are determined, reliable, practical, and loyal. Haven't seen any of these listed on eBay, so I'm either going to do some more research. It looks like one of the stacking mugs, judging by the style of the bottom. So I will see what these go for, and if they don't go for anything, I'll just keep it for myself. From that same Goodwill, I picked up these salt and pepper shakers for $1.97. These look like they are made by Fiesta Wear, but they are not marked on the bottom, so either these are either Fiesta or they are, I guess, a knockoff of Fiesta? I decided to go ahead and get them anyway because they were only a buck ninety-seven. I think the most I could probably get for these is ten to twelve bucks at most. So I thought what the heck, that was an interesting find. Pick this awesome new old stock piece up. It's called Grandma's Brag Book. I believe it's probably from the 1970s, 60s or 70s. It's made by C.R. Gibson. Um, didn't see a lot of these on eBay, but then again, I'm not sure. I just did a really quick glance. I didn't see anything specifically. I'll probably just go ahead and list this for 10 bucks. If you're interested in any of the items that I show in this video, the link for my eBay shop is down below, so go ahead and check that out. I've got over 147 items listed, so I'm sure there's something that you're just dying to own. So that's probably 10 to 12. If I had it on Etsy, if I were to sell on Etsy, I'd probably ask upwards of maybe like 20. So this was really interesting. This came from another Goodwill. I believe it's a shot glass, or it could be a measuring glass. It was 99 cents. The blue and gold really screamed mid-century to me. I see a very faint S and C, so this might be a souvenir from South Carolina. That's just my best guess, but definitely very 50s, 60s. Got a gold rim, and that blue is very, very mid-century. There is a marking on the bottom, and I think that is an L for Libby Glass Company. I could be wrong, though. Found this tube of vintage glitter for 99 cents. Didn't really look this up to see if they were worth anything. It might not be. I'll have to see. But I think either I'll send that to Miss Stone Home or I will send that to Magpie Ethel because I know she collects a lot of stuff to craft with when she does her 
vintage-y crafting stuff. Picked up this cute little dog. He was 97 cents. There is a very faint Japan stamp on the bottom. He's got a little bow tie. He's got a little soft tail. He's got a furry feather top. Don't know what kind of dog he is, but I thought he was really cute and hard to leave behind at that price. So I couldn't resist him. Now this, I took the tape off of and it had the tag on it. I wasn't sure exactly what it is. Had this been in a different color like amber or avocado green, I most likely would have shied away from it. Now the owl itself does not have any marks on the bottom of it, but this little cup right here is marked, let's see if I can get it to show. It's marked made in Italy. Do you all happen to know what this is? Let me know in the comments below. It almost looks like a little water pitcher or like a cream pitcher. Y'all will have to let me know. Anyway, I would probably date this to the 60s or the 70s, judging by the owl. If it's more modern, no big deal. I still like it anyway. This is how I found it. Taped to the top. Also from Miss Stone Home, I found her another pack of Whitman flashcards. These are pre-primer cards. And uh, the thrift store always checks the amount of cards to make sure they're all there and they are present and call it all present and accounted for. Paid 50 cents. I have about two other packs that I need to send to her, so this will be a great little addition to her little stash. For 97 cents, I picked up this really cute uh bear, or is that a cat? No, that's a bear. Bear, and I guess that's a wolf. Uh, switch plate cover, made of ceramic. It's made by Takahashi, and it, it, was, or it was made in Japan. Didn't really get a chance to look this up, but I think for the subject matter, it will probably go for anywhere from 10 to $12. Found this little, I guess this is a partridge maybe? Or a turtle dove? No markings on it, but judging by this little sticker right here, I definitely think this is older. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it either. I'll save it for my own little Christmas stash or I'm not sure. I just thought it was really neat and too hard to leave behind. For 25 cents, I picked up this really awesome zipper pull. And the only reason that I bought it was because of the illustrations on the back. I really, really like that. That might just be another piece I add into the jar. This was made here in the U.S. I just thought the image of that woman was absolutely cool, and I think it's a neat little demonstration piece on how to work this little gizmo. So I, when I saw a quarter and I saw the back of this, I was like, yep, this is mine. I am taking this. For 99 cents, I picked up this really awesome baseball mitt planter made by Inarco Japan. It was 99 cents. Made for Sean in January of 67, so I assume this person was probably born on this day, and I guess the flowers that were originally in here were that were given to the mother in the uh, maternity ward for boy, so I assume that's probably when this was done. Now, in terms of resale value, the last one that was identical to this sold for $14.99. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and list this one for. If you're interested, again, this is going to be in my eBay shop, hopefully within the next 24 to 48 hours upon this video's upload. Now, these two pieces were very, very interesting. I'm not exactly sure if they're old. It was 99 cents for the two of them, so 50 cents a piece. Either they're ornaments or... I don't know what they are, but when I saw them laying on this little shelf, I kind of couldn't leave them behind. They look, I don't know what they are, if they're iridescent or they're, you can definitely see through them. I don't know if they're hand blown or handmade, if they're old, I don't know. But they were definitely too interesting to leave behind. It almost looks like really long teardrops. One looks darker than the other. What they are, again, don't know. If you happen to know, leave them in the comments below. I just think they're very, very interesting, and I thought they were too unique to pass up, and for 99 cents, that was well worth it. Now, 
Now this is the cheapest item I've gotten at a thrift store in a long time. This little book here was sitting on a shelf just randomly with all kinds of other stuff at a Salvation Army that I had not been to before. So this book is called Pit a Pat and it is made by Florence Sarah Winship. Now this is a Whitman book from 1949. I just really liked the illustrations in this book. I love that image of the snowman and the cat. They just don't make books like this anymore and I I love rummaging through these and just looking at how people drew and made things. It's just a neat little piece of nostalgia. Now I brought it up to the front and they I let them know they didn't have a price on it and the lady charged me a nickel for it. I don't think I've ever bought anything from a thrift store for a nickel, whether it be from a charity shop or from Salvation Army or Goodwill. So kind of couldn't leave that behind also. I like that a lot. And for a nickel, like, hello, thank you. Now this last lot of items, excluding one, more zippers for Jen and her sister Kim. This one was uh, orange, so it was half off, so I paid 50 cents for it. This is a rather larger one. It's made by Unique, and I really liked the illustrations on the back of how to use them. So I got that one. Now, pink and yellow were on sale that day at this one thrift store. So this was 75% off of 50 cents, whatever that is. And then yellow, half off, so I got that one for a quarter. This one, 50 cents, 75% off. This one, same thing, 75% off. Green was not on sale, so that one was 50 cents regular price. 75% off. This one was yellow, half price, 25 cents. This one, 75% off. And then this one that is all wrapped up, 75% off of that. So that's everything I wanted to share with you all, so let's go ahead and conclude this video. So that's everything I have for you today. What did you think? Did you like the stuff I found? Is there anything you're interested in? The link to my eBay shop is down below, along with the links to my social media accounts. Instagram is where I'm most currently active, where you will see previews of items you will see in future haul videos. Be sure and give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below, subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell next to the subscribe button if you'd like to know when a new video is posted, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye guys.